Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna talk about just post chemo life. I am now two months post chemotherapy. I did a total of three medications, which they are right here. And I did 16 total rounds of chemotherapy. I can now finally get rid of this big old bag of medications that I was on during the whole chemotherapy treatment phase of my life. Um, I now feel, you know, two months after that the chemotherapy has left my body, my appetite is trying to regulate itself a little bit, my hair is growing back, I am just starting to feel a little bit more like myself. Um, the neuropathy as well has gone away which I am so grateful and thankful for that because it was not a pleasant feeling but yeah two months post chemo and things are looking pretty bright I will say that after that first month after chemotherapy that's when I really started to see like the hair growth at first it was just like starting in the back and a few stragglers and what I did was I had my husband just give me a, a, a buzz cut um, so that everything can kind of grow out evenly uh, my eyebrows are pretty much back. Other thing that was most noticeable, especially in the second month, as I'm going into my third month, is that I my, my clothes is starting to feel and fit a little bit more loose. So that was something that I noticed while I was going through chemotherapy, was that I gained quite a bit of weight. And number one was I was eating a lot. Like I was eating large quantities of food. I was hungry almost all the time. Even when I was super nauseous from chemotherapy, the one thing that would help me not feel like throwing up was eating, just constantly eating. So I did notice that I, <clears throat> number one, gained some pounds on the scale. And number two, it was the most apparent in my clothing. So I honestly had to go jean shopping quite frequently. And towards the end, I just gave up and I just bought stretchy pants and I just wore that through the duration of uh, the last few or couple months of chemotherapy. And I still wear stretchy pants now because comfort is key for me. I know that in some cases, some people lose a lot of weight, so they are very thin during their treatment. And then there's other individuals who um, gain weight. So I was on that end of the spectrum. But those are the most noticeable things that have kind of happened now that I am two months out of chemotherapy. The thing that I am doing now is I am taking one pill a day of tamoxifen. So I haven't really noticed any side effects with this. Uh, the, probably the most noticeable thing is just dry mouth. Now the next medication that I will be adding into the mix along with tamoxifen is one injection of Lupron every single month. Now from what I've heard in the cancer community is that Lupron has the most side effects and I heard it from my oncologist as well. She said that um, I can expect probably joint pain menopause and weight gain so i am gonna just give it a shot i'm gonna try it out for at least six months or as much as my body can take it and if it's just too much then i'll i'll quit it and i'll just continue with tamoxifen i'm just looking forward to this next chapter feels good to just close the chapter on chemotherapy and now to just be on this next chapter where i'm doing my best to keep the cancer away I am gonna be incorporating soursop teas. I'm gonna be incorporating a more healthier diet and a more healthier exercise routine as well. And before I end this video, I kind of want to just do a um, pros and cons list. I know that a lot of the times when you are seeking advice about chemotherapy, a lot of the things that you will hear are the negatives, you know, you're gonna feel sick, you're gonna lose weight, or you're gonna gain weight, all these different side effects. But I mean, sometimes we gotta share and shed some light on some of the things that um, happened during chemotherapy that were maybe positive, I guess if we can call it that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do just three positives and three negatives from chemotherapy. Number one for me was the nausea. The nausea was just unbearable those first couple of months of chemotherapy. Number two, the neuropathy. 
it hurt so bad in my hands and my feet. It felt like a bunch of icicles stabbing my hands and feet. Number three was probably the fatigue I felt during um, the cancer treatment. So those are the three negatives. Now let's do the three positives. Number one was hair loss. I know, most people are gonna be like, hair loss was detrimental to them. For me, it was kind of fun in some way. In the beginning, it was a little bit of a shock, but I will say I loved being bald because it was so easy and it still is easy with this super short hair to get ready in the morning. And during the summer, it was a lifesaver because it's hot here where I live. So being bald was awesome and being hairless all over my body. The second positive thing that happened for me was the weight gain. Even though I struggled with it a little bit because I had never really gained weight throughout my life. I've always been the same size. I kind of learned to love like my more curvier self and putting on the weight, I felt like I, I look better. And the third was being able to spend time with my family, the individuals who were able to take me to my chemotherapy treatment, being able to just sit with them during my infusion, talk with them. It was nice to just spend that time with those family members and have those nice conversations. So I really did appreciate that. Those are my three positives and my three negatives with chemotherapy. I am looking forward to just kind of seeing what the next few months bring. I am excited for what's to come. I don't know what's in the future, but I am just happy to be here today and I am happy to feel healthy and I am grateful to be done with chemotherapy, grateful to be done with my surgeries and just just happy to to have the second chance so i think this is a great ending point for this video i kind of just wanted to talk about you know my two months post chemo and shed some light on the positive and negatives of chemotherapy in my opinion of course everyone again i always like to emphasize that everyone's cancer journey everyone's treatment is different the way they react to the medications they're given is going to be different and vary from person to person so this is just my personal experience and i wanted to share that with you so thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye and happy holidays